Um, uh, I'm very happy uh, to share uh, my experience uh, of debugging KVM uh, using Intel DCI technology. This is my first time to present in KVM forum. I will do a quick self introduction. Uh, uh, my name is Raymond Zhang. Uh, I used to work uh, at Intel uh, uh, from 2003 to 2016. In 2009, I uh, joined uh, a project uh, which uh, uh, is based in uh, Anzen. Uh, our goal is made uh, NVIDIA graphic uh, TPU uh, to work in uh, Windows VM. At that time, uh, it's quite difficult to uh, make uh, a graphic TPU uh, to work uh, uh, in VM. Usually, uh, there is a very uh, uh, weak uh, GPU uh, inside VM. After we passed, us, passed uh, through uh, the device to uh, VM, um, uh, we uh, uh, installed the uh, driver, uh, its binary, and uh, there will be, uh, uh, there, there was a random uh, TDR blue screen. Um, I spent significant uh, effort to do the debugging. After three months, um, I found the root cause. Uh, it's a bug uh, in the MMIO uh, code of the shadow memory uh, logic uh, of them. At that time, uh, the only way to do debugging uh, is uh, print and lock. So uh, today, uh, I will uh, share uh, how to use a debugger to do, uh, to do the debug, uh, which is uh, much more uh, efficient. Uh, here is a, a classic, a classic uh, Zen architecture. Um, there is a hypervisor uh, under all uh, VMs. And uh, there is a special VM, it's called Domain Zero. Uh, it's a privilege. Uh, it provides a uh, service and it also uh, manages uh, other VMs. Uh, for example, uh, there is an IO email process for each VM uh, to do uh, a device emulation. Uh, and usually, uh, we uh, only uh, let domain zero uh, to see the real hardware. All other VMs only uh, see the uh, uh, emulated uh, fake devices. Um, the Hyper-V uh, from Microsoft has a similar uh, architecture. Uh, there is also a hypervisor uh, uh, un under all VMs. Um, in Microsoft's term, uh, uh, VM is called partition. The parent partition uh, is uh, equivalent uh, uh, to uh, domain zero of them. And uh, for Windows 10, uh, uh, Microsoft introduced uh, a feature called isolated user mode. Uh, also, it's called a uh, virtualization based security. Uh, if this feature uh, is enabled, uh, a hyper uh, hypervisor uh, will run. And above that, uh, Windows 10 uh, is running, and there is also another special uh, SQL kernel uh, run on top of the hypervisor. Um, for, uh, there will be uh, uh, a lot of uh, VM exists uh, when uh, Windows access uh, hardware. So after uh, this feature is turned on, actually uh, the performance uh, will be uh, sacrificed. Um, I think KVM uh, has a different architecture and it's better. Uh, 
So I believe uh, KVM uh, has a smarter uh, design. Uh, from the uh, architectural perspective, um, KVM uh, combines Domain Zero's kernel and hypervisor uh, into one. Actually, uh, they are run uh, in one uh, address space. Uh, with this uh, uh, structure, it has a lot of benefits. Uh, Domain Zero's kernel uh, uh, will not uh, exist to hypervisor uh, when it access uh, uh, hardware. Um, so uh, it has uh, advantages, uh, a lot of advantages. Um, people, uh, some, some people may not uh, agree uh, uh, with my uh, previous diagram. Um, so here I will show uh, some code. Here is a, a code from uh, uh, vmx.c. Actually, is a uh, code from uh, Intel uh, to support uh, uh, VM uh, technology. And uh, um, we can see is a uh, VM uh, extension uh, for KVM. Uh, so, so uh, this function uh, has a very uh, important uh, operation that's VMX on. VMX on is, uh, uh, is an instruction uh, from uh, the CPU. Uh, actually, it turns on uh, the hardware support uh, about VM, uh, about VT, um, using uh, the disassemble uh, feature of debugger, uh, we can see uh, the instruction uh, is inland uh, into the hardware enable function uh, of KVM Intel uh, uh, module. Um, the VMX on uh, instruction uh, has very uh, special uh, uh, role uh, in the VM uh, in the VT uh, technology. Actually. Uh, the software uh, which uh, is killed via on uh, firstly uh, will uh, win the hypervisor role or other uh, after that if other software is killed the, the instruction it will fail and it will be treated uh, a trader um, so for, for with this diagram actually uh, uh, if those uh, CPUs uh, execution uh, root uh, in the uh, uh, VT uh, uh, environment, uh, we will talk it uh, later uh, in more detail. Uh, we can set a breakpoint uh, at the VMX on instruction. Uh, after uh, we set the breakpoint, uh, we uh, let the target go and uh, uh, we launch uh, KVM uh, VM uh, in the Ubuntu target, for example. Uh, after we click the launch button, uh, the breakpoint uh, will be hit. And using the uh, call stack function, we can see uh, the call stack. From the call stack, we can see uh, the Linux kernel uh, is uh, invoking uh, KVM module uh, to do hardware enable. Actually, uh, it's using the uh, Linux kernels uh, uh, SMP uh, uh, mechanism uh, to uh, let all uh, CPU uh, ascend to VM to enable uh, to turn on the feature. Uh, in, uh, after uh, KVM uh, gains the control, uh, it will in, uh, invoke uh, KVM Intel. Uh, actually, it's uh, a function uh, pointer uh, registered uh, into KVM. So we can see uh, the hardware enable function is chosen and it will execute the VMX on uh, instruction. 
after this instruction, actually, uh, the uh, the code uh, which executes the instruction uh, wins the hypervisor role. And uh, according to uh, uh, this call stack, we can see uh, the hypervisor code and the Linux kernel uh, runs in one uh, address space. So it's safe to say uh, the hypervisor and the Linux kernel is run, uh, it, it's, uh, it's combined uh, uh, in KVM architecture. Actually, the uh, KVM name uh, is very good. Uh, it means uh, kernel-based uh, uh, virtual, mar uh, virtual machine uh, technology. Uh, so uh, the, the kernel uh, uh, plays the hypervisor role. Uh, it's smart. Just a quick uh, uh, view of KVM. So uh, nextly, uh, I will uh, talk about DCI. Uh, then I will uh, talk how to uh, debug KVM uh, using DCI. And uh, here is my uh, debugging uh, environment. Um, actually, uh, I'm in travel uh, and um, I'm, I'm talking uh, in a uh, small hotel. Uh, here is uh, the, the uh, uh, machines I used. So a uh, uh, laptop uh, is uh, running as host. And for the target, uh, I run Ubuntu. Uh, I turn on the KVM feature and also install uh, Ubuntu uh, inside uh, one VM. Uh, the hardware of the target is a uh, uh, internal CPU, um, uh, low power. Uh, for the target, uh, uh, the BIOS is customized. I will talk the reason uh, shortly. Between the target and the host, uh, I use uh, a USB 3 cable uh, to connect them. Uh, that's the DCI uh, technology. So DCI uh, stands for a Direct Connect Interface. Um, the name is uh, very easy to understand. Uh, uh, it means um, we can connect the host with target uh, very easy, uh, uh, very direct. Uh, uh, I think before DCI, we uh, have to open the traces uh, to connect the, uh, the ITP uh, connector. Before DCI, Intel use ITP uh, technology uh, to do low-level debugging. For ITP, uh, we uh, the connector is uh, on motherboard. Uh, it's not imposed to uh, traces. So we have to uh, open traces. That's uh, inconvenient. So uh, for DCI, actually, uh, it's introduced uh, uh, by Skylake uh, in 2016. Um, I believe it's a very uh, uh, good, uh, very good technology. It it holds the uh, powerful ITP, uh, that's the uh, JTAG scan chain uh, uh, technology uh, uh, to uh, USB uh, connector, uh, which is uh, very easy uh, to to connection. Um, uh, inside uh, the silicon, actually, there is a new component called XDCI. XDCI uh, will uh, uh, work with uh, uh, JTAG uh, scan chain and transfer the data uh, to XHCI, that's the USB 3 controller. They will uh, work together uh, to expose the ITP uh, technology uh, to a, a convenient USB port. Um, here is the uh, device list uh, using um, uh, DCI debugger. Uh, actually, here is an Intel system studio. Um, I, I think the, uh, the beauty of DCI debugger is uh, you can see a lot of uh, 
những hành động devices uh, using uh, the debugger. For example, here here we can see uh, the uh, the internal car, also the uh, anchor uh, anchor part, also uh, the integrated uh, devices uh, inside uh, the tube side. Um, so uh, for people uh, doing uh, low level uh, development, for for example, uh, OS development or Java development, uh, I believe is very uh, useful. Actually, there are two types of DCI. Uh, one is called boundary scan sideband hosted DCI. Uh, it needs a small uh, box. Uh, the box uh, is called a closed uh, traces adapter. Uh, CCA uh, in short. Uh, the other way is called a uh, USB hosted DCI. Uh, it only needs a USB 3 cable. Um, uh, the second way uh, is low cost and it's convenient. Actually, uh, I'm using the second way. Uh, uh, the the, the uh, constraint of the second way is it can only do I0 uh, debugging. It cannot debug uh, early uh, wake up. Uh, for CCA, uh, uh, it can debug uh, early wake up. That's the uh, uh, advantage of the uh, CCA uh, uh, tool. <clears throat> um, I have to uh, mention that uh, to do DCI debugging, uh, um, we need uh, usually uh, a, a customized BIOS. Uh, the reason is for security concern, uh, Intel uh, advise our OEM to turn off the uh, feature uh, in BIOS. Uh, that's uh, lock uh, the feature. Uh, after uh, it's locked, uh, it cannot be turned on again uh, without power cycle. <coughs> Uh, it means if it's turned off uh, inside BIOS, there is no way uh, to, to turn on it uh, in OS. <clears throat> That's why we usually need a uh, customized uh, firmware. <coughs> Sorry. Um, after uh, introduce uh, the DCI, uh, then I will um, share my uh, experience about debug KVM uh, using DCI. <clears throat> I will talk uh, some typical uh, scenario uh, to do the debugging. For example, uh, debug uh, VM create. <clears throat> uh, there are a lot of steps uh, to create a VM. Uh, I will uh, uh, talk some examples. <clears throat> For example, here is a breakpoint uh, on VMX create vCPU. <clears throat> uh, when this breakpoint hits, we can examine um, the details about uh, creating a vCPU. Um, <clears throat> after uh, creating vCPU, uh, 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 the KVM will uh, create virtual MMU. Uh, what I mean, uh, I, mean, I think it's just a, a simple name. Actually, uh, it's uh, creating the facility uh, uh, of uh, memory uh, page uh, for the VM. Uh, that's uh, uh, turn on the, uh, for example, the EPT uh, uh, technology of the hardware. Uh, if uh, no EPT uh, support in hardware, uh, I believe it needs a special uh, shadow uh, uh, page uh, mechanism uh, in software. <clears throat> uh, after uh, creating a vCPU and uh, the uh, virtual uh, MMU, uh, the VKVM will create local uh, APIC uh, for the VM. Local APIC uh, it means uh, uh, advanced programmable interrupt controller. Uh, that's a virtual uh, uh, 
uh, can I say uh, for the VM uh, uh, to do uh, interrupt uh, transfer uh, to the VM? Mm, after that, um, KVM will also uh, uh, create some uh, facility to uh, emulate Hyper-V's uh, uh, VM bus uh, facility. I believe uh, this is to uh, uh, speed up the uh, device uh, communication uh, between uh, uh, VMs. Mm. Uh, in uh, in in the times uh, I think in the uh, ten years before, uh, Visual usually uh, emulate the uh, device uh, using uh, the real uh, protocol, uh, but it is, it might be slow. Um, the VM bus um, has a special protocol uh, defined for uh, VM. Uh, it has a better performance. Uh, after that, uh, KVM will create a Pragmo uh, Pro uh, Prag uh, PIT uh, for uh, VM. Um, it's for a uh, timer interrupt. Timer interrupt is a uh, uh, classic uh, uh, facility uh, uh, for uh, for PC. Actually, um, today is still used. Uh, uh, so that the uh, machine has a uh, clock uh, support. Mm. <clears throat> so after, uh, so that's about uh, VM uh, create. So so uh, so now I will talk uh, VM exit. Actually, after a VM uh, is created, uh, CPU uh, uh, will. Uh, run the VM launch uh, instruction or VM enter. Then uh, the CPU will uh, enter the guest domain and run the, run the instruction uh, inside the VM. Um, for uh, normal uh, instruction, there's unprivileged instruction. The CPU will direct execute the uh, instruction. That's called direct uh, execute. Um, but when uh, CPU um, uh, meet a uh, previous instruction or I/O instruction, then it will uh, exit. That's called a uh, VM exit. Uh, so from uh, uh, to some extent, when a CPU uh, is running a VM, uh, it uh, run in such a loop. Enters VM. Uh, and if uh, it meet, uh, meets uh, a special uh, instruction, uh, it's also called sensitive instruction, it will exit to hypervisor. Hypervisor uh, will uh, solve the issue. And after that, it will uh, let the CPU enter the uh, VM again. Uh, that's the loop. So here, VM exit doesn't mean uh, VM shut down. It means. Uh, VM uh, CPU exits from VM uh, for some reason. Uh, one typical reason about I/O access. Uh, I think uh, this is also the primary way to stop VM destroy uh, hardware. Uh, in uh, in the VM uh, environment, uh, there are several uh, VMs. Uh, uh, they may have uh, they may share uh, one real device. So if they access the uh, hardware, uh, it will exit, and the hypervisor uh, will uh, uh, management uh, do the management. Uh, here is a brick point, uh, uh, and in the debug, uh, uh, we can see the cost tag uh, and source code. Uh, actually, there are two types of I.O. Uh, it call, uh, the first is a uh, port I.O. Uh, is old uh, and it's uh, inefficient. It's uh, created by the classic PC ports. Uh, right now, uh, most uh, 
IO is memory mapped IO uh, is more uh, common and uh, better performance. <clears throat> so for uh, hypervisor, uh, actually uh, today we use uh, QEMU uh, uh, in both KVM, uh, for both KVM and ZAM. Uh, for uh, QEMU, actually it will register uh, IO part uh, function callbacks uh, for IO, uh, IO part. So uh, actually when we uh, create a new uh, virtual device, uh, the primary, the main job is to do, uh, uh, to, 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 to develop the uh, read-write uh, callback. <clears throat> and in, in KVM, there is a KVM IO bus. Uh, it will uh, management the all, uh, all IO ports and uh, uh, register uh, function callbacks. Um, for example, uh, here here is uh, uh, a VM exit uh, uh, for port L. Uh, then uh, uh, at, at here uh, it means uh, a CPU uh, do the IO access inside VM and exit. After exit, uh, KVM. Uh, Will invoke uh, uh, will handle the exit and invoke uh, KVM Intel. Uh, uh, that's uh, expansion uh, by uh, by Intel. Uh, and K, uh, KVM Intel will uh, uh, by will track the exit region and invoke the uh, fast PIO uh, uh, function. Um, also, then it will. Uh, walk through the uh, IO bus uh, to find the uh, read-write callback and evoke the callback. Here we can see the port address is uh, 71, actually is the classic uh, CMOS uh, device. Here is a uh, abbreviated uh, call, call sign. Mm. <clears throat> Then I will uh, talk another uh, example about memory map I/O. Here, uh, actually, the APIC uh, is using uh, MMIO. Uh, it's a uh, read uh, callback, and here is a uh, uh, call stack uh, is in debugger. Uh, we can see uh, uh, it's a read access and invoke the uh, KVM write MMOL and it will dispatch to the AP uh, function call, uh, register callback. Uh, from uh, the uh, parameters, we can see this uh, is a special address. Actually, it's the AP uh, register. Uh, in the AP spec, it defines the, the uh, Linear address range uh, uh, beneath four uh, four gigabyte. Uh, actually, is reserved for AP. So here are some useful breakpoints uh, to do uh, to develop KVM uh, uh, for reference. Um, uh, here is a quick uh, real case. Actually, when I uh, turn off the uh, target machine, uh, you want to uh, take a long, long time uh, uh, at the uh, turn, uh, power off uh, screen. It seems hung on somewhere. Without the debugger, it's very hard to do the debug. Uh, then uh, I use the debugger to, uh, make, to break it. Then the target breaks into the debugger. I uh, I check the CPU zero firstly. Uh, from the call spec, uh, it's uh, servicing uh, a reboot interrupt. And from the source code of the reboot interrupt, uh, uh, it's doing a stop a CPU. Actually, uh, this function uh, will uh, trigger the, uh, I believe it will trigger API to uh, let all other CPU uh, uh, response to the uh, command. And we, when we switch to CPU2, we can see it, made, it might uh, panic. 
and it's in a uh, constant delay. Uh, so that's why the hand, uh, it means when we uh, turn off uh, Ubuntu uh, with some VM uh, is on, um, there are some special calls triggered a uh, panic uh, of Linux kernel. Uh, with this panic, uh, there is delay uh, in, inside the kernel and call uh, 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 I, I believe it's uh, um, several of about one minute uh, delay. So that's uh, all about my uh, talk. Um, I'm very thankful uh, uh, for your uh, attendance and uh, see you next time. <laughs>